I know you are trying to record with your new audio interface, but you are listening some crack noise or maybe background noise, some pop noise, or maybe you are experiencing some latency, some delays. So let's try to fix this problem and to use the best settings for your audio interface. So now, as you can see, I'm in Studio One, but basically you can use whatever kind of DAW you want. To set your audio interface correctly, you need to search something like buffer size. And depend on the kind of your uh, audio device, can be in different places. And normally you can receive a mixer for your audio interface. So for example, if I go here, this is the universal control that manage the mixer of my uh, audio interface. If I go here, I can see all the channels of my microphones, the output, different mix that I can make, some processor, gate, compressor, and stuff like that. Normally you receive this, but this is not the case because here I cannot tweak the settings of my audio interface to the recording settings because here at the beginning you can see the universal control and you can see there is the sample rate. I can change the sample rate, but there is nothing about the buffer size. So you have to search something about the buffer size. And for this reason, this depends on your audio interface. Uh, I experienced some issue with audio interface on uh, Microsoft, so on Windows. Some people ask me how to set the audio interface and if you have some problem, please write me on Instagram so you can follow me on Instagram and write me a private message. I can answer as soon as possible, okay? So basically you can go here. I'm on Mac, so I can find this under Studio One and I can go on preferences. Now I'm in Italian version because I'm Italian. But if you are on Windows, you can find something called like option here and then you can go and search for your preferences. In Mac is here, Studio One Preferences. And you can see this tab. You can use also a shortcut. Basically you have to double click here. You can create a track. And when you double click on the track, you can see here, this is your mixer. Right click and go to uh, settings, input and output. And basically is the same. You go here on Preferences and again, we are on the same tab. So as you can see, this is what we are searching. Here is in Italian, but is block uh, size, okay? So this is the samples. And what does it mean? Basically, that are the, the samples, so the time that the audio interface will take to process your signal. So when you are recording, you want it, when you talk, for example, in your microphone, you want to listen basically immediately what you are speaking, okay? So you want this number as lower as possible. Sometimes you cannot use too much low number. If you use too low number of these samples, you can experience some of the crack noise, pop noise, because your audio interface is struggling to process uh, the amount of data in so immediate uh, time. So you need to uh, raise a bit this. Let me say for recording is great up to 128. Maybe if you record vocals, you can listen some of the of, of delay of latency and so you can lower this number 64. I think that 128 for not so experienced ears it's enough, but you can go also lower, uh, depending on your audio interface. So as lower as possible, but not to listen this noise. If you are in mixing, you have to raise this number because when you are mixing, you have not to listen immediately what you are playing in uh, your DAW, doesn't matter. So there is no one that is singing in that time, okay? You can also play and listen also in one second on delay, doesn't matter. You always want to listen what you are doing on uh, mixing process. So you can use really high amount of samples. Normally when I mix, I use this number, 1024 samples. If you use a lot of um, effects, so a lot of plugins, this will charge your CPU 
and you have to raise this number because otherwise your CPU on your computer, depending on your computer, of course, it's too much for your computer. So keep in mind this. I give you an example. So let's try now to record, for example, a vocal. So let me rename here vocal from the L. Let's arm the track. You can listen to me. Let me grab my headphones. Okay, so as you can listen, there is just a bit of delay. So let me go here again on the same tab on preferences. Let's go 32. Okay, now it's better. There is just a bit of delay when I, pl when I talk. And so I can also try to lower a bit, but in, in this setting is it's great so let's go to preferences and go to 16 as you can see here there is the number here of the latency on the input so 5 milliseconds and latency on the output 3.6 milliseconds so the overall latency is 8 milliseconds which is really negligible so let's listen i can listen really clear sound without any noise but maybe if i place some plugins i could start to listen some crackle and some pop so i have to lower this number if i use high amount of this number for example 2000 as you, As can, you can see, see here, here, it's, it's also, also difficult, difficult to talk, talk because, because I'm, I'm listening to some, some delay. Basically, basically it's, it's like, like I'm, I'm talking, talking with slow motion. motion. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let, let me take, take off, off this. this. And as you can see, when I'm talking and you are receiving the sound, as you can see, it's not sync because it's processing and I have almost um, 100 milliseconds. So this is really not the great settings for a recording, but this is the right settings for the mixing. So guys, this is the setting. Really, really simple, but you have to search something called uh, block, psych, block size, buffer size, something like this. And you have to raise or lower the samples to get a really great sync with your singing or playing or your performance and your receiving sound. So guys, if you like this video and you want to see more tips and tricks on how to uh, mix and master, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more, if you want to support more this channel and receive more, you can join my YouTube channel. Basically, you can receive uh, guitar presets, um, impulse response, a DAW template, already dough template mixed for your recording if you join my youtube channel thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye